This is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and I've just watched one of Amy G's videos, who's another local Brisbane YouTuber, and she was doing Christmas decorations. And I thought, that looked like fun, I should get into it too. But my Christmas decorations are going to be pretty much indestructible. None of these fancy glass ornaments that the cats or dogs can knock off the Christmas tree and shatter. None of the cheap plastic blow moulded things that get trodden on and destroyed. Instead, I'm going to use some polystyrene balls I've picked up from a craft shop. Electrical tape. I'm going to make two of these, one in green and one in pink. Some metallic tape. Maybe some little jewels that I'll glue on. If I glue them on, I'll use um, super glue. And the only tools I'm using are a pair of scissors and a knife. Only other things is some hair ties. Now the hair ties are going to be embedded into the top of each bauble and that's how I'll hang them on the tree. So all I'll do with that is grab the knife, actually I'll grab the scissors and put a bit of a dent into the ball, nothing too major then feed the hair tie into it and the first piece of electrical tape will run through the middle of this hair tie. So I'm going to cover this with electrical tape and then show you the next step. Now that we've got them covered with electrical tape, these balls are fairly solid. You know, even the pussy cats aren't going to be able to break these when they come off the tree. You just pick them up and put them back on. Mine is a pink one. My girlfriend Tracy is just on the green one. Now the next step is to grab some metal tape. I've got silver here. You can also get gold and bronze. And if the camera can focus down onto the table, we can see that I've stuck it to the table. I've then used my knife to cut it into strips. And then these strips, when you carefully peel them from the table, now there's no right or wrong thickness for these. I've divided mine into four. You can do them as many or as few times as you like. So what we're now doing is just putting these strips around the ball to make it shiny. And we're only going to do it every other... Wow, I, didn't, I only just made these long enough. Every other stripe. So one of silver. Okay, this would be easier if I had more fingernails, but I've been breaking fingernails recently, so no more fingernails for me. And then we go on an angle. It's always good to start these in the same spot, and it goes all the way around, across the bottom, and hopefully comes back to the top in the same spot. So far, so good. Let's see how far I can get before I screw this up. Okay, so I've done that one. Now I need this one here. Ooh, I can see this next one's going to be difficult. And the reason it's going to be difficult is that I have this hair tie that's going to be in the way. But we'll see what we can do. And worst comes to worst, so I'll strip it off and start again. Okay, so folding the hair tie up as high as I can. And actually, that doesn't look too bad for a quick, hard Christmas decoration that is going to be indestructible. Now what you could do is grab some of these cheap gemstones and glue them on, but I'm liking just the pink and the silver. I think the green and the silver will look good too. But if I change my mind, I'll stick some of these on, probably in between the shiny bits, and just dress it up a little bit more. Now, I didn't use a ruler when I cut this, I only did it by eye. If you do it with a ruler, you'll probably get a much nicer finish. 
So anyway, I'll do the, my I'll let my girlfriend do the green one, and we'll get back to you. So here we have it, two very quick Christmas ornaments that are pretty much cat proof. The cat can knock it off the tree, can claw at it, whatever, it won't matter. Do they look fantastic? Um, that's a matter of opinion. Personally I think they look a bit rushed. But both of these were made in about 15 minutes total time. So for 15 minutes time, for a workshop decoration or to go on the lower branches of the tree when you've got toddlers or cats, these are not bad I think. Now we end up using a hot glue gun to stick the gems on instead of super glue. So if you do have a toddler, you may want to not put the gems on because you know, toddlers pulling things off and swallowing them aren't a good idea. Or if you're really smart and you've got a toddler, put a fence up around your tree so they can't get at it. You know, I could say put your cat outside, but they live inside. So anyway, these are my cat proof Christmas ornaments. A kitty pen is actually great for containing a Christmas tree. This I can believe. Thank you for that advice, Tracy. And this is Wolf from Armory Train saying, go out and make something. <laughs>